Hello, and welcome to the Keyshot 3 Getting Started video. When you're ready to start working in Keyshot, the first thing you'll want to do is import your 3D file. You can do so by clicking the Import button from the main toolbar. Select your file, and press OK to import. Once your model's been imported, you'll want to use the camera controls to navigate your scene. Left-clicking in the real-time window will tumble your camera. Holding the middle mouse button down will pan your camera. Holding the Alt key, pressing the right mouse button, and dragging in and out will move your camera in and out. This can also be done by moving the middle mouse wheel forward and backwards. Next, you'll want to open up the library to assign materials. If you click on the Library button from the main toolbar and select the Materials tab, this will show you all the materials in your library. You can organize them according to category simply by selecting the category. In this case, we can select plastic and go to metallic and drag and drop a plastic onto the model. Whenever you hover a material over the model, it will give you a preview of where that material will be assigned. It won't assign the material until you actually let go. If you want to make edits to that material, you can do so by double clicking. That will pull up the properties, and anything you change will be updated in real time. When you want to change out your lighting, you can also do that from the library. Click on the Environments tab, and drag and drop a new environment. Keyshot comes with several preloaded environments that are as simple as dragging and dropping into the interface. As soon as you drag a new one in, the new lighting will take effect. To increase or decrease the brightness, you can press the up and down arrows. Press the left and right arrows to increase or decrease in finer increments. If you have the animation module, you can add part animations through the project window in the scene tab. Expand the scene tree, click on your part, right click the part in the scene tree, and you can add a translation. This will move the part. Rotations can also be added in the same manner, simply by right clicking on the part and selecting add rotation. If you want to animate a camera, you can select the cameras within the scene tree, create a new camera by right clicking and selecting add camera, and from there you can right click on the active camera and add an orbit, an inclination, a zoom, or a translation. In this case we'll add an orbit, and this will be updated in the timeline. If you want to save out an image, you can press the Screenshot button. That will save an image to your Screenshots folder. If you want to output a preview of your animation, you can do so by clicking the Animation button, pulling up the timeline, and clicking the Preview button. This will output a draft quality, low resolution movie very quickly. Once it's done, you can save your movie for review. And that's a quick look at getting started in Keyshot.